Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a cool, simple logo really fast in Photopea. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go to Photopea and click new. Down here, you can see YouTube profile, just click on that or if you don't have it down here, the dimensions are 800 by 800 and hit create. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on our background layer, go to gradient overlay and I already have the settings on here. Click in this gradient box right here, Sh double click on this box on the right and you can shade it to whatever color you want. I went with red and black. Now hit okay. And the scale for it is 175. This will vary by the way. Um, make sure you change the style right here to radial and click the reverse button. And that is all the settings for this one. Now we're going to add an inner glow. So click inner glow and make sure your blend mode is on overlay. Change the color right here to white. The opacity is 75 for me, and here's the spread and size. This will vary as well depending on the size, but it should be the same for everyone. So it has this little light effect on each corner, or not corner, each side, which is really nice compared to just this. So I really like that. Now hit OK, and we're going to add our text now. So whatever the first letter of your name is, just type that. Not your personal name, unless you want to, but your channel name. So minus C for Cambit Creates. So drag that to the center. The font I went with is Lemon Milk. If you don't know how to download this, check out my how to import fonts video on Photopea and you will figure out how to import custom fonts. Now double click on this text layer and go down to gradient overlay. Now for the gradient, we're going to change it from black to white and hit OK. We're also going to add an inner glow. And for the gradient overlay, we're going to want to turn down the scale or turn it up to about 287. And the inner glow settings are right here. Kind of the same, but just change the color to white. And now what you can do is click this drop shadow button. This varies on whatever you want. I want it to be very subtle, so I turn the opacity to about 30. Keep the distance at about zero. Turn the spread and size to whatever you want. I'm going to keep it down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to file, export as PNG. Make sure the quality is at hundred percent and hit save. A PNG will save in the best quality and also the smallest file size. So now you can just upload it to your YouTube channel. I hope this helped you guys. If it did leave a like and subscribe, check out my other videos and I'm sure there's something you can find that'll help you out. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.